Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Valve uh, video tutorial. Uh, this one is going to be a quick tip, and it's uh, just to solve one little problem that came up uh, in the Elementor Facebook group the other day. And that is, uh, how do I center the text in the Elementor Pro testimonial carousel? Well, and it's actually quite easy just with some CSS. So uh, let me go show you. So where's our testimonial carousel? Right here. Let's go add one in. And this applies to only if you're using the bubble skin and have the uh, image uh, to the left. Uh, I haven't tried it on the right, but it probably has worked well on the right. Let's go see. Yeah, it'll probably work there, but I'm going to leave it on the left. Now you say, well, that's not that bad right now. Yeah, I could use a little bit uh, of centering, but where this really um, comes in uh, to play is if the image is a larger size. And before we go any farther, further, I'm going to go here and uh, turn auto play off because I don't care for things moving around while I'm doing this. So come over here to the style and we're going to crank up the image size here. And now you can see uh, the effect, right? Uh, some people might not mind it there, but if there's a, not much for uh, text in the... Uh, in the content area, it might look better if it's in the center. Okay, so what we're going to do here, and I'll just show you it right here uh, in the uh, custom CSS uh, for Pro. I'm going to paste in uh, some CSS that I have over here in my other monitor in Notepad++ and paste it in here and let's see what happens. Look at that. So basically what we did is uh, we said we wanted to display it, the content as flex and align items to the center. Uh, we'll update that. And we'll have a look here on the uh, live site. And there it is. So that's really about it. Um, I will have this CSS uh, in the uh, page on the sniffle valve site the link to which will be in the video description so uh, once again thank you for watching this uh, really quick uh, video and hope this might come in handy for you and also don't forget to subscribe to the sniffle valve youtube channel as well as here on the sniffle valve site so thank you for watching